All right, we are back in uh, Roseville at an undisclosed location where a 1969 Chevy van is continuing to be worked on. Now, we covered this van some time ago, but there have been some improvements on it, and we'd like to cover those right now, at least from the outside. You can see that the rocker panel is getting worked on, and... The steering column is out of a 1955, 1955 Chevy or, truck uh, pickup, Ford, Ford 1955 Ford. Ford pickup truck, and you got a custom shifter in there, and that is moving the, what kind of transmission you got now? Uh, Three-speed Chevy. Three-speed Chevy. That's uh, an automatic or a manual? Automatic. Automatic. And uh, still have the uh, 350 in here, which is looking pretty good. So it runs, it drives, it's just not roadworthy quite yet. Now you put this overhead insulation in here. What brand is this? That's like Amazon. Amazon brand. And you uh, reinforce the, the bows going across mm -hmm. so that uh, you said it's sturdy enough that you could even walk on it. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know if I want to test that, but that's okay. And the seats and the dash have been redone. Along with, it looks like the the uh, visors. Yeah, this is coming along real nice. So, what else is next? Uh, this dent and every other dent. All the body work. Body work yet to be done. Okay. Are those cabinets just uh, in there for storage, or are you going to be using those? Yeah, it had a, a sundial, a Volkswagen sundial kit in it, and so I was... Restoring that too. Sundial. Well, uh, what is what is a sundial kit? Uh, I think it's just a, a camper conversion. Company. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is the the goal is to set it up for uh, being a camper. Okay, uh, a couple more items I wanted to point out here. Some of the metal work that's being done. This is where they had these louvered windows. This was. Uh, originally uh, altered to be a camper when it came up or when it came out of the, uh, the secondary factory which is the, the camper I'll call it the secondary factory anyway what they've done here is they have reinforced this entire area to make it uh, a lot more stout and that's gonna really help that that whole area to be uh, a lot better including what's going to go on is that back portion there that is going to be a lot better than what they had originally it's pretty flimsy they basically just cut that out and then did not do any kind of uh, reinforcing i don't know if they really anticipated uh, the strains or you know what would happen over time but you, know, you can get cracks developing in there and i want to show you what else has been done here is this reinforcing around this door. Now, this was originally cut open uh, at that secondary factory, the camper factory, and it was a shelving unit. But they've done a lot of work on uh, reinforcing this. And also, this is like uh, like uh, adhesive. Uh, what, you, what kind of adhesive did you say? It's like a panel bonding. Panel adhesive. bonding adhesive. So that looks really nice. I'm gonna go around the front here and show you what he's done on these vents. So now he made these vents from just flat pieces of metal originally, and uh, they look really, really good. Uh, you can tell they're not the original type, but they certainly fit in there very nice. And it just gives you a level of craftsmanship that is being done on this van. So, fine job. And uh, what do you got for uh, for the brakes there? Uh, I got your kit. Here's my kit. Kind of dirty. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that is looking good. That is coming right along. So, looks like this body's going to be really in good shape when you're done with it. It's all nice undercover here, so it's not going to spoil that primer. 
That looks good. That's almost a candidate for a chrome grill. Looking good. 69 Chevy Vance.